Okay, so this is me scrying the Enochian word for pleasure. And that word is krasahai. And right now I'm just feeling, you know, even thinking about this, I was feeling like a bit of a better physical feeling, tactile feeling, just all throughout my body. And it's like I'm seeing very little, actually. The message I'm being given is to think less, be more. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I'm just seeing this beautiful wave on the surface of a lake. And I think we can all relate to that nice feeling of what water at the right temperature can give us. And sort of when everything feels right and good. And how we might enjoy even like a wave, a gentle wave coming over us. It's like things are working as they're supposed to and being as they're supposed to. And our attention is allowed to dissolve. And we can just allow. Now, sometimes we think of the things that lead to that. We might think of food or sex or something like that. And that is true. Those are pleasurable things because they are suddenly writing that which is out of alignment. They're correcting it. They're getting, they're sort of counteracting whatever chaos and turmoil it is. However, we are mal-aligned from homeostasis to get extraordinarily technical. <laughs> but really, they're, they're undoing what should not be there, and they're writing that which is not currently correct. So obviously, you know, if you're starting to get scurvy, orange juice feels pretty good and that the whole body will react better. It's telling you this is correct. This is what you needed. This is what you were lacking. So just thinking about this or, or reflecting on this is a better word. From a more personal point of view or how somebody else might be looking at this from a personal point of view. And and it's something that we have to acknowledge we can't have all the time, right? It sort of is a little bit less special and it's less meaningful because the things that you need to do to derive meaning sort of do require your attention, right? Bliss alone is not um, a sustainable thing. You need to attend to the greater reality that you're living in, the greater circumstances that you're living in. And then in moments when it's appropriate, keep an eye out when it's appropriate to just allow things to be. And sometimes that might be when we're asleep. Sometimes it could be in any of those activities. But it's not, the sense I'm getting is, is that true pleasure is not really, oh, we should do this. And then in the doing it, okay, now, now, now everything feels better and feels good and feels right. Not necessarily, really. It's more like, um, Okay, now this is a good time. You know, I've done this, I've done this, and this was necessary, but now I'm just going to kind of go back into, you know, a little bit, bit of a reflection and appreciation. 
So it's almost as if if you take an art appreciation class. Well, why do I need an art appreciation class? I can just appreciate art. Okay, you know, go ahead and do that. But then you get bored of that because you haven't really done the things that you need to appreciate it. But once you, for example, for example, you might understand the math that a classical painter was actually embedding within that. And you can actually see, for example, a golden spiral, you know, using the golden ratio. You say, oh, okay. You know, this it's hitting this certain certain part of my mind that I didn't even know was going on. And you appreciate that. You you suddenly realize that there was a little bit of math or a little bit of proportion, geometry, maybe, if it was if you don't like math, or we can all appreciate the 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 look of a golden spiral right away. And realizing that it took work and effort to do that, but it was work and effort that led to you being able to look at that and suddenly deriving your own pleasure from it. So it's a lot of undoing and it's a lot of allowing. You know, there's doing and then there's undoing. You know, which are you doing? <laughs> which, which are, what are you engaged with right now? Are you engaged with doing or are you engaged with undoing? And you need to be, to accept both, right? There's sort of a, little bit of a trite phrase, but we're human beings and not human doings. So that's definitely what I'm seeing right now and or reflecting on. Not much in the way of visions. And I think that's rather appropriate here, but in, I'm sure you can understand the content of the of what I'm saying is actually um, pretty important. And so that's the heavens behind pleasure and the sense of vision. <laughs>